an incredible showing of love and support amid grief today. Chicago firefighter and EMT Jermaine Peltz was killed in the line of duty, and today he was memorialized and taken to his final resting place. Pelt's casket draped in the Chicago flag traveled on an engine to Lincoln ceremony with a huge crowd of firefighters there to send him off. Before that, inside House of Hope Church, moving tributes to Pelt's coming from many of his loved ones, remembering him as a hero. One thing I ask of you, Jay, is as you walk down that path, just leave me a little clue so when my time comes, I may walk that same way. You will hear me call your name. Nephew, I'm here. You are my hero in every meaning of the word. At the end of his service, there was a traditional ringing of the bells, signaling Pelt's return home. Hundreds turned out for that funeral of fallen firefighter Pelts, though we'll never know how many more had planned to say goodbye. A last minute route change meant some people missed the chance to see his procession pass by. CBS 2 Sarah Maki found people along the new path who say they felt fortunate to be in the right place at the right time to pay their respects. Sarah. Right, these flags have been at half staff ever since the day after Peltz died, and they have remained there since to honor the two Chicago firefighters who died in the line of duty. Now, the idea during these processions is to make sure that the fallen are never alone, and onlookers tell us that is exactly why they showed up. They wanted to show their appreciation and their support for Chicago's first responders. These firefighters raise the American flag a mile from their station. Along the original procession route, they had to move fast when an active police scene caused organizers to detour, making sure they could honor their fallen firefighter, Jermaine Pelt. Neighbors following to make sure that they could be on the sidewalks as the procession of first responders passed by, including a woman talking to a young child. That's somebody's car, and these are all of his firefighter friends and his police friends and his ambulance friends. My heart goes out to us, his family and the other firefighter's family, and um, um, may God be with them. Joining the onlookers, Chicago police officer Cal Harris, who says he didn't know about the procession change until the flags went up, but he says he's right where he's supposed to be, watching another first responder, the second in two days, laid to rest. Oh, it's really tragic. You know, uh, I mean, you hate, you hate to see it, you know, uh, years in a row. I mean, but for it to ha happen in two, in two consecutive days is... It's truly uh, tragic. It's, a, it's a, a tremendous loss to our city. As Pelt's casket turns back onto the original procession route, more firefighters stand ready with a salute. The crowd's growing as they near House of Hope Church, an outpouring of support. Well, you know what? It shows it shows how people feel about first responders and the uh, the job that that we do. And it's great to see the appreciation. It, it, it's very it's very very heartwarming. Now, one woman we talked to who came out and didn't want to be on camera along that new route, she came out so quickly that she didn't have shoes on, new nail polish still wet on her toes. She says that she wanted to drop everything and make sure that she could show her gratitude. In West Pullman, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. Nice anecdote there. Thank you so much, Sarah.